opening game of the Africa Cup of Nations is here and upon us. Hosts Ivory Coast take on Guinea Bissau. Who's getting off to a flyer? Who's getting off to a stinker? We tell you, look. <laughs> Video today we're taking a look at the opening game of this year's Africa Cup of Nations. Who will get off to a flyer? Will it be the host Ivory Coast? Will it be an upset Guinea Bissau? We'll take a look at all of it in a second. Big shout out to my VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. And again, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you bang the old subscribe button. Your one-stop shop for Africa Cup of Nations, Blackman Rovers, World Football, all here at No One Ruski. So let's get into it, of course, and have a look at what we're talking about. We're talking about this. That's right. The big boys, uh, Ivory Coast up against Guinea Bissau. Come and take place over in uh, Côte d'Avoie at the Stade Olympique La San Utara. That's right, as Ivory Coast are hosting this year's tournament. But let's, of course, have a look at how these guys got there. Of course, uh, as we uh, keep looking forward to each and every one of these games with their each their overall respective preview. So here we go. Ivory Coast qualified as hosts, but they also qualify as Group H runners-up. They secured the deal on the 19th of uh, 30th of January 2019. It's been a long time coming. Of course, there's 25, uh, 25 finals. 2021 was the last. They were champions back in 92 and 2015. Of course, they are managed by Jean Louis Gasset with Usman Diamande, your main man. They got the odds of 7 1 to go the distance. And of course, my prediction was last 16. It may change. We'll see how they get on. Let's take a look at uh, their resume heading into this then, shall we? Of course, taking on Guinea Bissau, and I've highlighted that as their must-win game. Do not lose this game. Why? I'll elaborate on that in a minute. Following this game, they take on uh, Nigeria. Of course, big game, that one. Uh, really set the benchmark, of course, and then Equatorial Guinea to wrap it up. Why did I highlight this game as the most important? Well, uh, it is the first one. It sh sets the benchmark for the tournament. Can they showcase the watching African nations? Uh, and, of course, the rest of the world, are they the real deal? They've flattered the deceive in the past couple of tournaments, and they've not really stood up to it. And of course, with them as hosts, this will show us as if they are real contenders or if they're not. They win this comfortably, sets up a bit of a zing zong again against Nigeria. It doesn't really matter if you win or lose. You should already have your three points and then you should clean it up with Ecuador or Guinea. That's my uh, hopes and dreams anyway. Let's take a look at this squad then. And of course, my expected start 11 for a decent uh, Ivory Coast squad here. We've got, uh, we got Fofana between the sticks. We've got uh, Conan, Indica, Diamande, the star man, then Honoria as El Capitano. We've got also Fofana, Zangari and Kessie in midfield. Andringa, Hala, and Diacante up top. That's, of course, uh, the uh, Ivory Coast. Let's take a look at Guinea Bissau. Let's back that up again, uh, shall we? Group A win, uh, runners up, secured their deal on the 18th of June 2023, not, not, not too long ago. Fourth finals for them. 2021 was their last. They've never made it at the group stages, but this could be the year. We'll see. Bakereo Kande is your manager. Mama Balde, your star man. 151 to go the distance. I've not got them out of the prediction. I don't think they'll get out of the group, but we could, uh, you know, if they beat uh, Ecuador Guinea, get themselves three points, and that is why I've highlighted that game. You probably can afford to lose this game you can get if you can get a result against Equatorial Guinea in the next game it puts you with three points that puts you within striking distance and then you know it might be enough with three points but then it gives you a little bit of hope going into that Nigeria game that you might be able to get that all important fourth point which should be enough to guarantee at least a third place team. and that also could also open up a possibility of runners up let's take a look at this squad then shall we of course and my expected starting level I'm not the most uh, experienced at predicting uh, uh, Guinea-Bissau teams but I've got many Mendes between the sticks. We've got Kande, Zagante, Dejalo, and Mendes on the right-hand side. Bickle, of course, in Gomez. And uh, Carlos Mendes Gomez, formerly of Morecambe, now on Luton. And he might have even gone on loan since. Uh, they've got Rodriguez, Deju, and Cruzeiro up top. That's, of course, my squad for this game. Let me know if I'm right or if I'm anywhere near it. Uh, but let's take a look at, of course, a little bit uh, crunching the numbers then between these two sides. Never play each other, according to my eyes, in recent times. Maybe if you stretch the calendar back into the into the, beyond the 90s, then you might see some results. But, uh, uh, of course, Ivory Coast, 67% form for them right now, unbeaten in at least the last five games. Three wins and a couple of draws. In fact, update, update, that's now up to 83%. Of course, they have played in recent times. Guinea-Bissau on 58% form. Of course, their record is pretty much identical as what I recorded here. Uh, but since I uh, took these graphics of course uh, Ivory Coast picked up a 5-1 win over Sierra Leone that's their uh, is that their final warm-up game I believe so and Guinea Bissau with a 6-2 loss against fellow qualifiers Mali which may show what sort of team we're uh, looking at here in Guinea Bissau so look at the public vote the public vote is still fresh out there make sure you get involved with that on the channel but 88% of your uh, uh, percent of you have gone with the Ivory Coast Guinea Bissau is on 8% uh, with a draw at 3% 
As for me on this one, of course, I have done a, a master prediction video, so make sure to check that out with each and every one of the games from match number one. They are split into two parts. But if I was to be forced with a prediction, I'm going to go with the host here, Tuna win for Ivory Coast. It might not be that impressive, but it'd be enough to get the wheels uh, rolling and, of course, maybe get a, a couple of the star men uh, in the spotlight a little bit. That's what we need, though, from Ivory Coast. We need them to show up. We want the best quality African nations to progress in this tournament. We don't want them to be uh, crashing out in the early stages. But for me, Ivory Coast on the way with a big three-pointer. But we'll see about that. And of course, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. But until then, I'll see you soon for the next one.